Kawhi Leonard being traded to the Toronto Raptors in exchange for DeMar DeRozan was easily the biggest trade of this offseason and probably one of the weirdest trades in NBA history. Now I know that this trade happened more than a week ago and I know that I haven't uploaded in a while but I thought that this would be the perfect video to get back into it for. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So if you haven't been following NBA news, the trade was for Kawhi Leonard and Danny Green to go to Toronto in exchange for DeMar DeRozan, Jakob Pertl, and the 2019 first round pick, which I don't really like that we gave up a pick. I've been saying for the past probably two years that the Raptors needed to start rebuilding, and don't get me wrong, I love DeRozan and Lowry and all that they've done for the organization, but the, the core that we have right now or that we had last season and for the past like four or five years it, it wasn't going to win a championship i said a couple years ago that we needed to start rebuilding and so for that reason i guess i'm kind of glad that we finally moved on and i was glad that we fired Dwayne casey even though like i said i appreciate all that he did for the franchise all that these guys did for the franchise for toronto but ultimately it was time to move on but I did not want DeMar DeRozan to be traded for Kawhi Leonard. Now, don't get me wrong, Kawhi Leonard is a fantastic player. I think he's I think he's top three in the NBA when he's healthy, to be honest. But Kawhi is on a one-year rental for the Raptors. I know some people are saying, well, look at what happened with Paul George or whatever. And I'm pretty sure that's the only reason the Raptors front office made this trade is because they saw what happened with Paul George. But to be honest, Kawhi is gone. Kawhi is going to LA. He wants to be in a big market. He wants to be the star player of a big market team. So trading our star player for a player who doesn't even want to play for us and will be gone after one season. And then also giving up our first round draft pick I think was stupid. I think we needed to trade DeMar DeRozan for younger players or draft picks or both. And the same with Kyle Lowry before they signed the massive contract extension with Kyle Lowry don't even get me started on that but ultimately I think that we as a Raptors fan we could have gotten way more for DeMar DeRozan or we could have put ourselves in a better situation than just a one-year rental for Kawhi Leonard now moving on to Danny Green I love it Danny Green is the ideal 3 and D player in the NBA he's a great defensive player He's also a great offensive player. He's not a guy who can just take over on the offensive end, but if you put him with the right players, he can shoot and he can score. So Danny Green, I think that's a great pickup. I think he'll bring some nice veteran leadership. But Kawhi Leonard, let me just say this. If Kawhi Leonard does stay, then we as Raptors totally won this trade. If we traded DeMar DeRozan, one of our bench players and a first round draft pick for Kawhi Leonard and Danny Green. We totally won this trade if he stays, but like I said before, I don't think that's likely and ultimately I think we should have traded for younger players and draft picks. Okay, now that I'm done ranting about the Raptors and how this trade shapes the future for them, let's talk about the San Antonio Spurs because honestly, I think that they did a heck of a job. Our I, I don't know if they did a heck of a job or if the Raptors just got completely robbed, but the Spurs just got not a superstar, but an all-star caliber player, an all-NBA caliber player when he's at his best. He made the all-NBA second team, I think, a year or two ago. I don't know when that was, but they have now a star player who can score the ball very well. And they got him for a guy who definitely was leaving. So they pretty much, like I said, they traded a one-year rental of Kawhi Leonard for a star player, another young player in Jakob Pertl, and a first-round draft pick. In my opinion, the Spurs are big winners. And I think that DeMar DeRozan has a real opportunity to thrive under Coach Pop as well. I'm still going to be a DeMar DeRozan fan, even though he's on the San Antonio Spurs. Like I said before, he's not a superstar. But for the Spurs situation, getting DeMar DeRozan, just getting DeMar DeRozan would have been great. But they also got a first round draft pick and a young center. Like, 
I cannot say enough about the Spurs. Like, they won this trade. Unless Kawhi Leonard stays in Toronto, then the Spurs and the Raptors won this trade. But ultimately, I think that the Spurs are much bigger winners than the Raptors at this point. Okay, we've talked about both teams now, so now let's talk about the players. Kawhi Leonard and DeMar DeRozan. I already talked about Danny Green a little bit, and I'm not going to talk too much about Jakob Pertl. I'm going to talk about the main stars that were traded. If you haven't been paying attention to the NBA news, DeMar DeRozan was very upset when he got traded, and I don't blame him. He's been very loyal to Toronto, but like I said, I think we needed to move on from that phase in the franchise I just, it wasn't working but he did sign a big contract extension for like five years last season i believe or the season before that so he he stayed really low to toronto and the double standards for players and franchises with loyalty is a whole another topic that i could get into another day but ultimately even though demar derozan is upset like right now i think that he will have maybe a better situation in san antonio under coach pop i think that he could really elevate his game and reach his full potential as a spur as the number one option for the spurs and he could probably even be the leader of a western conference playoff team i mean i'm pretty sure that the spurs are playoff contenders now to most people even in the tough western conference but ultimately even though DeMar DeRozan is upset right now, I think that things will turn out good for him in the future. Now, moving on to Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard obviously wasn't thrilled about being traded to Toronto. In fact, I think I also heard that he was upset. One positive thing for Raptors fans like myself is one news article or one report that I saw is that after all the support and welcomes that Kawhi Leonard received from Raptors fans and from the organization, he likes Toronto a little bit better, but I don't really think that means much. Obviously, Kawhi wanted to play in LA. He still says he wants to play in LA. He won't commit to signing next year, which is no surprise to anyone, I think. So Kawhi Leonard, ultimately, I think he got nothing more than could be expected, but nothing less than can be expected i don't i don't know how this shapes up for Kawhi leonard but either he really likes toronto and he stays there or he only has one more season until he gets to play in los angeles so i think that the spurs were never trading Kawhi leonard to la i think that they, they were always going to trade him outside the western conference they were tr going to trade him to the east ultimately Kawhi leonard I think that he's kind of a winner in this situation because he's out of the Spurs organization, which is ultimately what he wanted. And if he likes the Raptors, then he can stay there. And if he doesn't, he's gone next season. So Kawhi Leonard, even though he's been a bit of a baby, actually a huge baby ever since he requested a trade, I think that he ultimately won as well. Anyways, please leave your thoughts on who won this trade whether it be Kawhi Leonard, DeMar DeRozan, the Spurs, the Raptors just please leave your thoughts on this trade and also remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video it really goes a long way I will see you in my next video thanks for watching